Good morning students. I am Miss Christabel Beal, your English literature teacher for class 6. Welcome to online classes. Today we will begin the first lesson, the Moonlight Sonata in your literature book. This lesson is about a German music composer named Beethoven. Let us go to the slideshow and see what we have in store for us today. The Moonlight Sonata adapted from Stories of Great Musicians by Catherine Lewis Scoby and Olive Brown Horn. The Moonlight Sonata is about Beethoven as I have told you. Beethoven is a great music composer and in a part of his life he also lost his hearing power but in spite of that he continued to make wonderful music. Let us read about Beethoven. Lewis van Beethoven, born December 16, 1770, in Bonn, Germany, died March 26, 1827, Vienna, Austria. German composer Ludwig van Beethoven is considered one of the most important figures in the history of music. He continued to compose even while losing his hearing and created some of his greatest works after becoming totally deaf. The piano sonata number 14 in C minor, popularly known as the Moonlight Sonata, it was completed in 1801. The piece is one of Beethoven's most popular compositions for the piano and it was popular favorite even in his own day. Beethoven wrote the Moonlight Sonata in his early 30s. So Beethoven was one of Germany's greatest music composer and he had lost his power of hearing. In spite of that, he made great music. Beethoven wrote the Moonlight Sonata, which was one of his greatest works and was well loved by many. And the Moonlight Sonata was written by Beethoven in his early 30s. Let us now start the lesson. One moonlight evening in early summer, a friend called upon Beethoven. He said, Come, let us walk together in the moonlight. The two friends strolled through the streets of Vienna. While passing through a dark, narrow street, Beethoven suddenly paused in front of a small cottage. Hush, he said. What sound is that? It is from my sonata in F. Listen how well it is played. So, one moonlight evening, Beethoven's friend came and asked him to accompany him on a walk. So, they strolled down the narrow street and he suddenly, Beethoven suddenly heard that someone was playing a piece of his music and he appreciated the way it was being played. He said that it was being played really well and it was his sonata that was played in F. Now, I will like to tell you all some of the word meanings. Strolled means to walk in a luxury, in a very... Um, leisurely manner in a very carefree manner that is the meaning of strolled as he and his friend were strolling down the road then we come to sonata 
Someone was playing Beethoven's sonata in F. What is the meaning of sonata? Sonata is a piece of music usually divided into three or four parts which are played at different speeds. And F is a musical note. So someone was playing Beethoven's musical piece on F note. And Beethoven really appreciated the way it was being played. The music went on. Almost at the end of the beautiful sonata, the music ceased and low sobs were heard instead. A girl's soft voice said, I can go no further. It is too beautiful. I have not the power to play it as it should be played. Oh, how I wish I could go to one of Beethoven's concerts. So as the music went on, we see that a girl is playing Beethoven's music and she suddenly ceased to play. What is the meaning of ceased? Ceased means she stopped playing. Why did she stop playing? She stopped playing because she was not confident that she was doing justice to the original artist. And she said that she can never play as well as Beethoven. And she was a great fan of Beethoven and she wanted to go to his musical concert. She really wanted to go for his concert as she was his great fan. my sister said another voice why wish for something you cannot have we can barely pay our rent you are right answered the girl and yet I wish for once in my life to hear some really good music so now we see that the person the girl was talking to was her brother and her brother replied to her that it is not possible for them to go to Beethoven's concert as they were poor and they could barely afford to pay their rent. And so the girl replied that yes, I know that. But she really wished to hear Beethoven in reality. She really wished that for once she could go to his musical concert. Beethoven looked at his friend. Let us go in, he said. Go in? Why should we go in? I will play for her, said the master in a low voice. This girl has a soul of a musician. I will play for her and she will understand. So as this was going on, we see that Beethoven and his friend was listening to the conversation of brother-sister within the house. And Beethoven decides to go inside and play an original piece of his music for this girl as she was his fan. But his friend was really perplexed by this decision. But he told his friend that she was a person who really loved his music and had a soul of a musician. So he decided to go in and play a piece of his music for this girl. When the two friends entered the room, they saw a pale young man sitting by a table making shoes. Near him sat a young girl. She was leaning sorrowfully upon an old-fashioned harpsichord. Her long golden hair fell over her neck and shoulders. Both the young man and the girl were startled and turned towards the door when the strangers entered the room. So when both Beethoven and his friend entered inside, they saw that the young boy was sitting and he was making shoes and the girl was sitting in a sorrowful manner leaning upon an old-fashioned harpsichord. Now students, what is an harpsichord? 
A harpsichord is an old type of musical instrument similar to a piano but with strings that are pulled not hit. So she had a head leaning on this harpsichord and both this brother and sister were shocked when they saw both these strangers entering into their house. They both turned towards the door when the strangers entered. So I hope the lesson this much is clear to all of y'all. We will do this much only for today dear students and I would like to tell you that below my video there is a link which you can download and read the lessons and also the assignments that I am giving to you to do it at your own time. You can download the link into your own devices. Now let us go to the assignment that I have in store for you all. Exercise 1. Some difficult word meanings are given to you. You have to write this in your English literature copy. Word meaning number 1. Composer. People who write music. Number 2. Strolled. Walk in a leisurely way. Number 3. Sonata. A piece of music usually divided into three or four parts which are played at different speeds. F. A musical note. Number 5. Seized meaning stopped. Number 6. Sob meaning cry noisily. Number 7. Harpsichord. A type of musical instrument similar to a piano but with strings that are pulled, not hit. Now students, I would like you to learn these word meanings and write it in your English literature copy neatly. Now let us go to the exercise 2. Exercise 2 are some question and answers that are given. Rewrite these question and answers in your English literature copy. Learn the question answers as well. Now the first question I will be reading to you all the questions. The first one is who was Beethoven? Beethoven was one of the greatest German composers. He was considered the greatest composer the world has ever known. Number two. Where was Beethoven and his friend? What did Beethoven hear? Beethoven and his friend strolled through the streets of Vienna. While passing through a dark narrow street, Beethoven paused for a while as he heard a song. It was from his sonata in F. He appreciated that it was played well. Number three, who was playing the music? Why did she sob? What did her brother reply to her? The girl was playing the music. She was sad as she was not doing justice to the original piece of music. And she wished she could go to Beethoven's concerts. Her brother replied that why wish for something that they could not have? as they were very poor and could barely pay their house rent. Number four, why did Beethoven decide to go inside? He wanted to play for her as she had a soul of a musician. That was number four. Number five, what did the two friends see when they entered the room? They saw a pale young man sitting by a table, making shoes near him, sat a young girl. She was leaning sorrowfully upon an old-fashioned harpsichord. Both the young man and the girl were startled and turned towards the door when the strangers entered the room. So students, this is all for today. Please read the lesson I have taught you. Learn the word meanings and write it in your copy. Learn the question and answers and write it in your copy. Hope to see you all soon. I will continue the lesson in the next class. Goodbye and God bless you all. Thank you.